Hello everyone and welcome to Three Roots Deep. Thank you for tuning in to this video. I wanted to just take a minute and show you all what we're studying for the month of January. I stated in a previous video, I would go ahead and take the time to show you some of the materials that we're using for this month and what we created for our state's binder. Rather than going out and buying already pre-made workbooks and lesson plans, we decided to create our own. So I just put a little binder together with a map of the United States in the beginning. And then I went on the internet and found some different printable fact sheets about each state. So for example, this one's Alabama. I really like the way they did everything that pertained to the state on these particular printables. You have the state flower, the tree, the bird, the state animal, the reptile, the state rock, the state fish, and so on. And then I created a little printout sheet for my kids to write what they thought about the state. They're doing some copy work. They're being able to look up some different facts about the state, things that interest them and things that they like. They write a little bit about each state. Here we go. We have Alaska now. And then, so my oldest, he wrote a little bit about the state. And then he drew a picture. He illustrated a wolf. And then here we have Arizona. Sometimes my kids, they don't like to draw or color. So in order to work on their fine motor skills, I let them cut out some different pictures in magazines. And for those of you that don't know, you can order free brochures, travel guides, and maps online. So we ordered one, from, one set from every state so that they can use those to make different collages. So they cut those out. We've already done Arkansas. So here we go with some more cutouts they've done. California, some cutouts. This one, he just did the different state facts and wrote those down. Colorado, he chose to do some illustrations on this one. For some reason, they don't like to write in the book titles, the authors and the illustrators. Sometimes they use books and sometimes they just go and get online and look up the state facts or they use the printables that are already in their binder. So these are some more of the illustrations that he's done. And then again, I go and just look up different printables, different state facts. So every state is different sometimes. This one he wrote some state facts on. This is the state seal that he illustrated. And then here I have them doing some copy work so that they can write down the states and do some memorization for the states. So here we go with the flag he illustrated. So basically I just kind of let them go in and research each state and write what they want to write about the state. And then this is another set of printables I found where they can fill it in. They're supposed to color in the state, then write the state nickname, the state motto. And on this one, they could have drawn their own seal and drawn their own picture of the capital. Oh, see, and on this one, he did this. He drew in the state mammal, the state bird. So just to give you an idea, you, you don't always have to go buy curriculum or buy workbooks. You can create and make things yourself. So I'll go ahead and put that out of the way and show you some of the books that we got and then tell you where we got it from. The Target always has a great selection of dollar items, usually things that are under $5. We got this particular book at Target and I'll go through it and show you what this one looks like. So it may be available at your Target. I'm not sure, you'll have to go look and see. Sometimes they're all different. These books here, I ordered all three of these books from Book Outlet. This is the inside of this one. And I love this one because it was researched, written and illustrated by a classroom of kiddos. So that's the inside of this one. And then this one is National Geographic Road Trip. I know this one is available on Amazon, but it's more expensive on Amazon. It's at a discounted price on Book Outlet. So that's the inside of this one. You get a map. I like this one because you get the map of the state, and then you actually get the cool things to do in the state. It does that, and it tells you about the roadside attraction. So if you wanted to play a game, where you pretend to travel to a state. You can pretend you're in a car or you can get little cars out. I've let them get out 
their Hot Wheels sets and pretend to travel to the state they were studying that particular day and then they can go through and do these particular facts or pretend that they're stopping in these certain places and we've gone and looked up these places and you could come up with different creative games that you can do for studying about the state so that's the inside of this particular book again that's the ultimate u.s road trip atlas this one i like because it's all the different birds from each state so if i show you the inside of this one it tells you the state and then it shows you the bird of the state and gives you different facts about that particular bird so this is a great book as well, especially if you have a child that's an animal lover and maybe they just want to learn about that particular aspect of each state. Then these books here are just some random books. I love Flat Stanley and Flat Stanley has a whole series of traveling and this is the only one we have right now, but I'm getting ready to make another book outlet order and I want to see how many other state ones that they have so I can order a couple of more. This one is one of the ones I showed the other day that I got in a book box recently from Book Outlet. It's Where is the Brooklyn Bridge? I know they have other ones that have landmarks in different locations in the U.S. So I want to show you the inside of these books. Each one of them comes with a little map in the back. And it'll tell you about different facts. It's got a lot of illustrations, even though it's in black and white. It's still got a lot of great illustrations in the book so I like this whole series and collection of books this particular book we got on Amazon it was really cheap too I think it was like a dollar fifty two dollars the prices the thing with Amazon is that the prices will fluctuate so when I see something that we can utilize as a resource for something I take it and put it in my cart and then I wait for the notifications for the prices to drop to a price that I actually like so we use this when we studied about Arizona so you could also have different books about different landmarks and locations that can go along with your lessons this is a set of flashcards that we got. We also use board games to go along with that. And I didn't get the board game out, but I will show you the board game probably on another video or just send you the link to that. I love little Dover books. We have little learning baskets that go along with each different subject that we're studying. So this is a little Dover book. It's on Amazon. It's $1.50 or $1.99. And this is just something cute for your kids to sit with. Or if you have to go somewhere, you're running errands, but you still want to study the subject but not have them take their backpack or take a big heavy book with them or a lot of books. You can buy these Dover books and then it has little different stuff about the states. And it's a little handheld book. See the sides of my hand. Another thing that we're using are highlights. We are getting the highlights. You get two states per month and when you initially get the set it comes with this which is the official game guide that goes along with each of the 50 states and what I do is I take the page for the state because you only get the one book so I take the page for the state and I put it in the printer and I make a copy of it just so that each child has a copy and then I have this copy for myself so that I can use it later so we have Texas here and California. So I'll show you what the insides of these look like. If you have highlights puzzle books, you know what the inside of, the, of them look like. So it has different games. So it spot the difference here between the two pages that they worked on. And then it has different facts that you can use the map for where you have to find different things. Then it has little fill in the blanks an amaze word finds so these are really neat they have a lot of stuff and then you get the map that comes with it and we have texas on our wall of course because we're from texas so this is what the back of the map looks like it points out different landmarks and tourist attractions different things and then, of course, you have the actual state map on the other side. And you'll use the map to answer certain questions that are in the book. The last thing that I'm going to show you all are 
some things that we got as well. This one we got from Target. In the little front section, the everything below $5. And it has different things in here that they worked on. So that's what the inside of that one looks like. And then this one we haven't done yet. I'm saving this until the end of the month when we complete our 50 state studies. So this I got from Book Outlet as well. And I believe it was a dollar, maybe two dollars. But it has the cities where you can cut these out. And then it has the maps. So you would pull them out from the center. So that's why I haven't done it yet because I'm going to use it when they do testing at the end of the month. So it has the little map right here. And then you pull them out from the center. So each map would be a different activity as you pull it out. So basically that's everything that we have right now other than the board games and the puzzles. So if you're doing a 50 states unit study and you're interested in seeing any more of the materials and resources that we're using, or if you wanna order any of these books, I will leave links below so that you can see where we got the books from, and I can leave the titles as well. So I hope you enjoyed getting to see what we use for our 50 states, and I hope this encourages you to go and put together your own little binders of your own lessons to use for your theme units. Thanks again for tuning in, bye.